back. Oh, what's yeah. up? Hey, hey, Rob. We're with Rob. Um, we're actually in Jet Lending's StreamYard studio tonight. So shout out to Jet for letting us crash your studio. Even though I'm up in College Station in my office and you look like you're at your house, we are virtually crashing Jet Lending's StreamYard studio tonight. So Eddie might be I in wonder, the comments. I yeah, I wonder if Eddie's getting upset right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If, if Mary, if you see his comments come up, uh, Eddie, in the comments, throw them up there. Unless it's a hard question, then don't, or, or Rob will answer it. Um, <laughs> so, Rob, I see by your tag right there that you're senior loan officer with Jet Lending. So I want to tell a quick story. I first met you, and I say met in the COVID sense, like online or actually on the other end of a phone call. When you were doing a loan for somebody, I think it was two years ago, up here in College Station, you're down in Houston, and we were you. we were selling a house, and that guy brought said, I'm going to get hard money, and next thing I know, Rob with Jet Lending is calling me, and I said, I know Eddie, I'm happy to work with you, and that buyer was a mess, but Jet Lending wasn't, and I knew Eddie before that deal, and just having you on that deal, I'll tell you what, you saved that deal, that dude, I would have fired him as a buyer, which I don't ever do, but that dude almost got fired. And if he only knew without you, he would not have got that house. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, now that I think about that house, I, I probably wish you would have fired him. I know. Cause I, think, <laughs> I think he's still, well, if, I bet Johnny's happy because uh, I think he's still paying yeah. interest on that thing. I think he is. But yeah, I, man, I tell you what, some, Sometimes you got to go a little above beyond, even if you don't know what's going to happen on the other side. And I think we do that at Jet very well. I think we 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 take care of our clients uh, in a way that most lenders, you know, don't even think of. You know, I, I say it often, and, and we talk about this in our staff meetings. There's a lot of lenders out there that just throw some numbers on a sheet and say, "Hey, uh, you know, we're going to do this deal." Uh, here, here's your numbers. I, I say what sets us apart is the fact that we dig a little deeper. We do an evaluation of the property. We spend time on the phone trying to save deals for the client. Um, I mean, I, I can't tell you the number of times that I've get, gotten phone calls from, you know, either the seller or or the the, the title company or, or something. It's like, hey your guy ain't responding or whatever. And I'll call him and say, Hey man, look, it's a great investment property for you. What, what's going on? What are we going to do here? You know? And, and typically that'll turn it around in a very quick, you know, Hey, all right. Yeah. I need to get more focused. Right. Yeah. So I opened up telling you that, that it was awesome to work with you as a seller. Um, and you repping the buyer while well, not repping, but repping his money. But you on that deal, you work, as harder, if not harder than a bunch of realtors. Um, and now I'm a loan officer with Jet Lending also, and I get to see inside, I get to see the other side of how much uh, y'all do uh, to get this money into uh, the buyer's hands for these projects. Um, and it's amazing. Um, it's, yeah. it's a lot of work. But uh, <laughs> just earlier today, I was talking with a uh, you know, a buyer who's experienced, but it's me coming from being in his shoes. I could say, Hey, um, you know, take, take a look. He's filling out the repair budget. And I say, look, this is a good step uh, for senior investors or even new investors just to stop and sit down and make sure your project's going to make sense. Um, yeah. Up front. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that's, you know, and, and being, I've done this for five years. I, I think you've been doing it uh, quite a bit longer, but I, I think what sets us apart far in, in between any other lenders is that we actually care if you're getting into a property that's going to make you money. Um, our initial analysis is, is, I mean, if you could put a price tag on the fact that a home investor and one of the largest home investor looks at every one of the deals that comes across the table, if you can put a price tag on that, by all means, tell me. Uh, and that's yeah. a free evaluation that's done. Eddie Gant, 
I mean, if he's watching or whatever, I always use his name because, you know, he's well known. He's very well known as far as being one of the smartest investors in Houston. Um, yeah. He, he, if he looks at your deal and says, hey, I'd buy it for that price or, you know, that's, that's a great deal. Or on the flip side of that, Rob, you might want to consider this or, you know, um, you might, y'all might want to take a look at this, this, and this. It's on a busy street, you know, look at this sheet or shake. I mean, we've saved some deals and got the client to go back to the negotiating table after the inspection or the appraisal and say, hey, you got a seat or shake roof under that, uh, under there. And that's going to cost me $30,000 to get that, that replaced. I, I need, I need this price lowered, you know, and it helps to see these things that most investors will miss. So. Yeah. So we had a, a shout out, I think, all the way from New Jersey up there. Todd saying, hope all these deals pan out for everyone. I hope they yeah. do, too. And with Rob uh, helping, I think I think they will. Um, yeah. So I see some army stuff in the background there. Uh, yeah, I got, some, I, got a, I got a little bit of war memorabilia here. So I got I got um, some behind me, too. Yeah. Yeah, um, so, I think we got a question on Facebook. What are some key points yeah. you look at on deal analysis? I tell you what, when we when we do any deal analysis, we want to we want to know what your purchase price are. We want a, a good repair estimate and know that you've been to the property and some photos so we can kind of take a look and see what's going on, you know, inside the property, around the property, and so a good set of photos gives us a, a great snapshot. Um, you know, as long as you can, you can provide that, we can get you, you know, um, we can, Keith and myself or anybody here at Jet, uh, we can get you a deal analysis quick and let you know what we can lend in a pretty decent turnaround time. I uh, hope that answers your question. So I, I got to climb on board with Jet um, behind the scenes right in, that, in the middle of COVID. So yeah. I didn't know how that compared to before COVID. Uh, so you tell me, it seemed to me like Jet was blown and going all throughout, still is. It's it's amazing. Uh, so what, what do you think um, the impact of COVID on lending in general and what you think won't be the same uh, on the other side? You know, I will tell you this. Um, COVID has not really slowed us down. Um, I think on the other side of this, as far as meetings and stuff like that, and we've talked about this in our weekly staff meeting, um, I think meetings are going to change. Um, you know, I think people are, are starting to realize that they can get a bigger audience quicker um, and have more views about what their product offers just by doing it online. I think that's, honestly, that's that's probably going to be the biggest thing as far as you know real estate and and getting back to you know kind of a normalcy i say i still think it's normal right now because we haven't seen the dips that you know other things like restaurant industry has seen i think we're i think we're going to be you know even keel right now yeah i, I tell yeah. people you know i'm blessed to be able to to still do my job you know and and not and not be forcibly shut down. And I just yeah. pray for some of these cities and towns and industries that aren't going to recover at all. Um, so we're blessed. Um, so you're from Mississippi. Yeah, I am from Mississippi. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's kind of a blessing and a curse. So Mississippi or Mississippi State? We're, hey, hey, we're hotty toddy all the way in this house. Hold on, just a second. <laughs> yeah, I got my, I got my Ole Miss football right there. <laughs> I think, uh, I think the Aggies are playing Mississippi State coming up here in a few weeks. Uh, yeah. So Johnny and Eddie. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got a little bitty uh, Ole Miss thing on on my bumper, but you know, at the office, I respect the fact that Johnny and Eddie went to Mississippi State. You know, I, I got no horse in either race, to be honest with you. Um, I'm from Mississippi. My dad was a stark Ole Miss fan uh, ever since I was growing up. You know, he passed away in 2017. And, 
you know, I, I just try to keep the tradition of, you know, of the trig man supporting Ole Miss. So, I mean, I you and I are, uh, had, you and I are alumni of Central Texas College. Yeah, so that I, that's where I went, Central Texas. Our school. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's not where I got my degree, but I got a couple of my classes there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I got, I've yeah, got I several, even, several classes there. <laughs> I, I live in Central Texas now, and I still don't think I've ever know where that building is, if it really is a building <laughs> somewhere. Um, so we got like less than a minute left. Uh, I, I got to ask you, we got a question, what do, you, what do you look at in deal analysis? But what I want to know is what your million dollar nugget is for the group. If you if you had everybody for one more minute, what you do, what would you tell them? Hey, this is the way going forward is what you should do. I, I would tell you right now, your million dollar nugget is going to be in rentals. Get them while they last. Um, cause this, if you can start building your po portfolio for long term gains and long term wealth, um, I think you're, you're, you're going to be in a better side, um, of investing. Uh, you know, that mailbox passive income money coming in is, is probably, one of the best things and jet lending can help you out with your 30 year loans uh, long term. We've got so many different products that are coming out. Um, so many different avenues that we can get those 30 years uh, uh, investor loans done um, fully amortized. And I, I'd say, Hey, if you're an investor and you're trying to get into this, you know, get, get as many rentals as you can. Cause when you're old and gray and, that, and they're all paid off, and you're rent, and you're you got them all rented. And you don't have to worry about anything. That's far better than flipping anything. I got an offer on one of my rentals today, so I, I still still deciding it. Hey, Rob, uh, thanks a lot. That's awesome. Uh, it's great to talk to you every day, but it's great to bend your ear uh, out here, bring bring you up here to brick. Uh, if and when we get back into a actual live building, we want you to come back up and uh, get I you up on stage. We appreciate that.